What's going on guys, welcome back to the Terran SMP, my name is Woodchuck and this is going to be episode number 5. And don't forget to always hit that subscribe button, it helps a lot, so does the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, I'm going to be posting daily updates on what's going on and if you get a chance, hit that merch store and let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, so getting started right away, you'll notice that I do have the outline for the castle, I don't have the floor or the grounds done yet that's gonna take a while and it's gonna be double double blocked so it's gonna take quite a while but if you notice in this corner over here I do have this little circle area outlined so we're gonna fly over there and I'm gonna tell you what's going on we are gonna be working on the storage unit it's gonna be automated I am following a tutorial by Tango Tech which will be in the description below but when we fly on down here There we go. So as you can see behind me, we're gonna have six different pots. Each pod will have 12 chests in it, which equals 72 double chests. That's a lot. Hopefully that's enough for all the stuff that I have. Uh, it is gonna have one input chest and a hopper off to the side where I can unload my shulkers whenever I do get done with one of these big builds and have a chest monster. But let's get into this quick little time lapse and I will be right back with you. And poof, behold the power of editing. I did change my clothes too. I gave myself a little bit of gray hair. I am the oldest person on the server, so it's kind of fitting. Um, but if you notice behind me, I have built the walls up all the way around and every single pod is completely done. Minus the redstone. I haven't done the redstone on all of them. Just the first one. So if we do head over here, you will notice I do have it kind of starting to be organized a little bit. Not really that much, I'm gonna have to get these other pods done, but if we open this chest up right here, this is the input chest, and that is the shulker spot right there. So if we grab, let's say, these stone right here, we'll put one back just so it has a spot. Every single one of these spots has to be designated to a certain block, so we'll throw those in there. If you notice that they are going in pretty quick, it's not too slow, it, and I did notice that if I fly away that it stops completely, but you see that it is working, and we do have our elevator loading everything up into these hoppers up on the top. They are sending them over to a hopper dispenser area that goes through every single one of these chests, and then off to the back to another elevator. So if we come around to the front, we will check this chest here. There we go, and they're all going in there. So if we just patiently wait, they will be done, and that's it. That's as simple as it is. It's not that difficult. If you do follow his tutorial, he is very, very good about explaining how everything goes. And that should be pretty close. We had 37 or 38, I think 38. Uh, um, lost, uh, lost two of them. I'm not sure where they went. I'm gonna have to check here in a minute to see where all those went um, but anyways I gotta I'm gonna show you guys what what I've actually done to make this place look really good I did spend a little bit of time you know finishing up the other side I gotta figure out what I want to do with these towers on the side there but this one is gonna have a gazebo up on top right here we fly off if you look in the background you'll see that sea man is crazy and is digging out a massive area but for the time being, I have these walls done. I gotta get the center building all set up. So, I have an idea. I wanna put a game also inspired by Tango Tech. Most of you know Hermitcraft. Most of you have seen Decked Out. I'm gonna kinda duplicate that, but put a different twist on it. Put a woodchuck twist on it and make it not as complicated. But check this out.
This is going to be a server-wide game called Mazed and Confused. I am definitely going off of uh, Decked Out from Hermitcraft Season 7 Tangos. I have kind of, well actually I have made it look a lot like his entry here, but when we get into the maze part, that's where it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to have walls that are going up that are going to force you go, to go through the different rooms. Uh, it's going to cut off your way back, so you're going to have to completely explore. I am going to put in mobs back in this area uh, where you, you're going to do the same thing like in, in Decked Out, just my kind of version of it. You're going to have to collect your articles and you're going to have to collect different things to get points, but this one's already taken up uh, quite a bit of my week, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this up and then when I do get all this stuff done and the maze pretty close to being done and the walls of the castle pretty much done, I will get you guys back on another episode, but for the time being, I'm Woodchuck. Peace.